I go by Nair for all this fun stuff here. It's just my name backwards. <laughs> it started as a temporary name and I just kind of took it. Movies like The Princess Bride, The Nigo Montoya, they always kind of appeal to me. And so the fact that I can be out here and compete with someone in almost like a fencing type way, what I'm just, I love it. If it's about the competition and the actual physical aspect, you know, I got my sword here and my goal is to kind of weave in between my opponent's defenses at a really quick paced mental game of chess. And that's where the fun comes from, is trying to outwit and outmaneuver your opponent. So I think that people don't realize how much of a sport it is. It's like, it's like basketball or football where it's, you have to practice techniques and there's a rhythm to it. You come up here, you bend your knees to make this shot and the momentum carries perfectly. So there's a lot of kind of artistry to it, kind of like a brush stroke almost. Amp Guard is really social, so you also get to take out of it the people. I love all the people here. They're so fun. We got to dinner, we hang out. It's a great time. You come here, but you get to, you get to leave with so much more. If I, if I stopped LARPing after this interview, if I never did it again, for the rest of my life, I'd remember the time that I dressed up in the silly garb and I wore ribbons and I hit people with blunt objects and I had the time of my life doing it. Like showing myself really gives me confidence in other areas. It makes me feel like I'm a better person. I feel like I can talk to people better too, which sounds really silly saying like, oh, I get to be a better person because I hit people with blunt objects, but it's true. Some people knit, some people play professional video games, some people play basketball, whatever makes you happy, whatever you get to take away from. In a nutshell, I guess Amps Guard is a place for you to be somebody and not just a fictional character, but a place to be somebody that you want to be. You just got to be like, this is me and this is who I am and you deal with it or you don't.